why it is important to cool down the tanks how you are cooling down the tanks Hi guys, welcome on board Kilo Mike Niner. In this video, as you have all requested to tell you the procedure for cooling down of tanks and cooling down of lines on the LNG carrier. So I am alongside cargo engineer on board this LNG carrier. So you can see behind me, we are in CCR right now, and uh, we both are now off duty. That's why we are making this video. So uh, today is Sunday, and cargo engineer has spared some of his time for me to make the video to make uh, you informed. about the cooling down of the tanks and cooling down of lines that is very much required so as to prevent the tanks from getting damage because of stresses that that is why we cannot load liquefied natural gas directly into the tanks at room temperature because the stress it is acting inside the tank membrane is phenomenal which may damage the tank or which may collapse the tank so that is why cooling down is very much important today along with me is cargo engineer on board this lng carrier this is the new newest type of design of the lng carrier and uh, he is looking after all the cargo work on this lng carrier i welcome arjun jain cargo engineer on board this lng carrier so welcome on board kilo mike niner sir thank you firstly i want you to give a brief introduction about yourself how much is your experience on lng ships and what all kinds of lng ships you have done in the past and how many number of contracts you have done on the lng and in this car cargo engineer rank hello friends so today i will just inform you about some of the operations so before that i would like to give some introduction about myself so i am sailing on lng ship since my first ship which is my cadet ship and as a gas engineer i have sailed this is my fourth contract and i have sailed on steam motor mass construction membrane construction and different types of engines like steam turbine motor ship this is xdf xdf is also a motor ship but we have also gas burning inside engine so this is a brief introduction about my ships what i have done before this one so thank you very much sir for the brief introduction and sir uh, my first question to you is that why it is important to cool down the tanks before the loading or before the first cargo you are taking so what is the importance of tank cool down and line cool down before every operation so cool down is required because the cargo what we load on ship is very cold as you must be knowing that the temperature is minus 160 degrees celsius and bef since before loading the tank is empty so there is no liquid inside and there is a normal tendency for the tank to slowly warm up so supposing if the tank temperature has this minus 100 or minus 99 it is still very cold but in terms of cargo there is a difference of 60 degrees celsius so for the safety purpose and to prevent thermal shock on the tank which is very thin membrane constructed so for that we need to cool down the tanks as well as the lines lines if they are not having any liquid they will be same as room temperature 20 30 35 degrees celsius so in that if you will start the pumps and you will start putting cargo at minus 160 degrees there will be a huge thermal shock and there is a high probability that a line may crack the insulation may also fail so before that we need to slowly send liquid uh, which will turn into vapor and due to this process the tanks and the line will slowly cool down and once we reach before loading we should be ready to load the cargo that means our lines and our tank should be cold so that we don't have any wastage and we can directly load all the car So as the cargo engineer explained cooling down is a very important process before loading a cargo just remember to cool down the tanks on an LNG carrier don't load the cargo directly into the tank <laughs> this is very important anyways when you are doing the advanced gas training or you are doing some in house trainings they will tell you the importance of uh, cooling down but as some of you have asked me in the comments section that's why i am bringing this video to make you aware regarding regarding this so my next question is how you are cooling down the tanks what process you are following or what procedure you are following to cool down the tanks when the ship is coming out of dry dock and also how you are cooling down the lines when you are reaching the port so in order to cool down the tanks supposing if i am going for loading loading means my ship is not having cargo so i will connect the lines from the shore side and i will ask them to slowly send a very small amount of liquid to my ship and with that 
that, I will open the spray nozzles. Each tank has got some spray nozzles, just like normal spray. Slowly, slowly, we will take cargo from shore at a very small amount of rate, maybe 30, 40 cubes per hour. And slowly, we will start spraying. And gradually, we will increase the rate as the temperature comes up. This is the process before loading. Now, supposing if I'm going for discharging, means the show side is not having liquid in the tank. So I will use my tank and my spray pump, which is a small capacity pump to take out liquid from the tank and slowly send it to the lines and similarly i will send this liquid to the shore side so they can also cool down their side so this is the process and this cool down needs to be done as per a table which is there on each ship which will be different for different type of tank construction so this table must be followed in order to avoid thermal shock or thermal cracking so basically the ship builder is providing the table for cooling down of the tanks so we need to follow that table every ship has its plan so you can refer to the finished plan of the ship there you will find the table for cool down of the tanks so that you have to follow uh, sir i wanted to ask that generally what is the average rate of cooling down can you just give like a generalized value on that so cool down is mainly done as per this table but normal rate on membrane ship is minus 20 degrees per, per hour and for most type it is minus 10 degrees per hour so this is a normal rate what we need to follow on ships but before this thing this you just have to refer your tables as well just to be on the safer side okay so as sir told that uh, minus 20 degrees per hour for the membrane type of tanks and minus 10 degrees per hour for the MOS type of design this is like a generalized value but make sure to refer the plants before you commence cool down it's a disclaimer just refer to the plants refer to the tables before doing any operation okay sir thank you very much for the information so my next question is uh, what all precautions you are taking or what all safety measures we have to take before cooling down the tanks or before cooling down the lines in a port. Uh, regarding safety measures, the best way is to follow the working instruction on ship. Plus, you need to also refer your manuals. And if you have a good senior, always ask if they are available on board or on WhatsApp or, or any other communication which is available on board. And also, before executing any operation, you have to double check, especially the lines and the valves, because there's a high probability if you if the valve is shut, you start a pump, the line may get pressurized and the relief valve may lift up or the line may rupture. So this is the normal practice. And if you are starting a pump, the best thing is to check the current for the particular pump and also the previous record, which is a very good indication that your pump and your lines are lined up and your system is working properly. So thank you very much, sir, for the uh, for this information. So guys, just take care whenever you are doing such a critical operation. So make sure to take all the safety measures. Make sure to take all the precautions. Make sure you double check and also tell one more senior person to double check along with you because there might be possibility you can miss something or the other. And uh, so my last not question, just a request. What suggestions you will give to the upcoming cargo engineers who are coming on your rank in the future uh, my message to the guys who are coming up on these ships in this rank is just follow the work instruction and try to be familiar with your machinery and the best thing is to consult your seniors do take help from them if they are experienced it will be of great help and there's a high probability you will reduce your risk of making mistakes or some hazards and rest you can enjoy on this ship if everything is okay. Normally, these ships don't give much problem. That's the best part of this ship. So, sir, I can make out from your smile that you have enjoyed a lot on this ship. Uh, so, 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 guys, look, you have to be like him. Enjoy every moment of your contract or enjoy every moment on board, be it be work or be it be anything apart from work recre recreation activities and all. So thank you very much, sir, for uh, giving your time to make the video and uh, to come on my channel. So thank you very much. I highly appreciate that. So guys, I think it answered all your questions related to cool down. So if you like the video, do like and share. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'll bring more more videos like this in the future stay tuned this is kilo mike niner signing off